I've always loved the XWs, XYs. My, my old man's always had early Falcons and I wanted to finish what I what I didn't finish back, you know, when I was 16, having to sell the car and not being able to afford the, the fuel in it. So I thought I'd buy another one and try again. And uh, this is the end result. My name's Mick from Schofields, New South Wales, and this is my 1969 Ford Falcon. My first car was a XW Falcon. It was a one owner. I bought it for two grand. I was only 15 at the time. Being a panel beater, I wanted to get it looking better. Being a first year apprentice, I couldn't afford the petrol in it, so I, had, I ended up selling it about a year, a year later. After selling, selling the, the XW, I ended up with the old KE30 Corolla. Got me from point A to point B, but uh, it was a bit of a shit box. Once I um, progressed in my panel beating apprenticeship and started earning a bit more money, I went out and bought a VP Commodore, uh, International Series Calais. Uh, that was a nice car. I only bought it because I went car shopping with my brother. We, he was a holding man, so the old man wasn't too impressed. Sold that and bought a BA Falcon Ute. Yeah, that one, that thing went pretty hard. I went through a few diffs in it, a few gearboxes, all under warranty. <laughs> and then it took me 10 years to, to buy another XW, which was this one. It was in pretty good nick. Bought it from Melbourne. Flew down there, had a look at it. Gave the guy 20 grand cash and drove it home. No radio. <laughs> It had a standard 302 Windsor in it, that didn't last long. Played around with it, put some different wheels on it. So after Power Cruise 66, I took it off the road just to fix a few things, fix the rust. When I took the motor out, I thought, oh, I'll just move a th few things out, make the engine bay look a bit more cleaner. It sort of got out of hand, you know. And then when it comes to painting it, repainting it white, I thought back of uh, the first car. I actually started painting the first car in uh, Blueprint Blue. So we come up with this colour. After seeing the paint job, how good it was, I thought, oh, this could be something special, you know. So I, I had a goal in the, back, in the back of my mind to someone else was coming up that I thought, oh, maybe I can try to go for top 60. Gave Matty from Inside Rides a call, and after Matt having it down there, he, he ran, gave me a call and said, uh, Alan Webb's just coming out a look and asked if anyone had seen the car. I said, no. Nah. He said, well, do you want to get it unveiled at someone at 30? Went, oh, yeah, that'd be pretty special. Me and Dad got our house in the gear and got it ready. Uh, the, the week leading up to someone at 30 was a killer for us. We were working 15 hours a day for probably 10 days leading up to someone else to make sure we got it there. So the engine's a 347 Windsor. Scat crank, scat rods, forged pistons, alloy heads, big cam, Parker manifold, 750 double pumper carburetor. Got a C4 transmission, fully manualised. It did have a, a top loader in it. But uh, with such a big cam and that, it was just it wasn't working. So we put a C4, 5.5 green stool converter in it, and it drove hoops better. It's got about 550 horsepower, which is enough for a little 347 Windsor. It's probably at its, at its peak. It's noisy, it does the job, uh, smokes the tyres in all gears, and revs to about 8.5 green. It's a pretty snappy motor as well. So the wheels are American legend. They're actually they're only set in Australia at the moment. They're 20 by 7 on the front and 20 by 11 on the back. I could have went wider on the back, but uh, to get engineered, that's why. I'm pretty stoked the way it, the way it looks. I was a bit worried about putting late model modern, modern wheels on it, but I haven't heard anything bad about it yet. So I've got wheel wood brakes all around, wheel wood master cylinder. They're not the biggest brakes. I could have put bigger brakes on it, but. Uh, one day down the track, I'm going to put the 15 inch big rubber under it, maybe take it down the track and see what it can run. I done all the body work myself. I had a, a hand from a mate at work. I made the bonnet out of two bonnets. It's not a fiberglass bonnet. It actually took me a while to, to do it. Pretty proud of the bonnet. The interior is all Scottish leather. It's malt colour. It's got BA Falcon seats, Mercedes carpet. It's got a B&M Street Bandit uh, shifter, electric handbrake, everything pretty much electric in it. Push button start, all push button accessories, custom made back seat, full length centre console, billet specialty steering wheel. The gauges are from America, Speed Hut. Oh, they're pretty tricky in the boot. It's pretty clean. The petrol tank's hidden, uh, the battery's hidden, and there's still room. You can put stuff in there. 
The colour is a uh, house of colour, true blue pearl, all underneath. The car is all painted. That took hours. I didn't want to just paint it in proof coat. It just wouldn't do it any justice, I don't think. Seeing it out on the road and in the sun, it's, it really stands out, you know. Um, and it, it catches everyone's eye. That's one thing about the car. When we unveiled it, everyone, pretty much everyone was said, gee, I love that colour. Not I love the car, but I love the colour. <laughs> Pretty cool experience having the car unveiled at someone that's 30. The car totally exceeded any all my expectations. You know, um, I knew it was, was going to be something special after it was painted, but to get to this point, no, I, I never thought I'd see top 20. Also, the, the top sedan that was uh, that was that was pretty special, and I know my brother would be pretty proud of it uh, as well. As well, so. After talking to Matt and Owen, uh, they told me we had to we were to make a display up for it. Um, and my wife came up with the name Blu-ray, named it after my brother, after he's, he passed away in 2004. So yeah, we sort of made it into a, 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 a tribute to my brother, uh, Ray. Yeah, me and my brother were always into cars since we were young, you know, following in Dad's footsteps. Although Ray went the Holden, Holden way, I, I, I kept to the Fords. I'm sure he'd be uh, pretty happy with the outcome even though it is a Ford. <laughs> it, it's a really nice car to drive, you know. It um, drives good, handles good, steers straight, uh, smokes the tyres whenever you want. It does exactly what I want it to do. The hours and the effort that I've put into it uh, definitely pays off in the long run. Looking back now, like I never thought I'd, I'd be in this position. Having a, a top 20 car and also being in street machine, um, yeah, it's pretty good.